Hello and welcome to another one of those videos that you didn't know you needed to watch until you had seen the title and thought, I think I best have a watch of this. This is one of those things you don't normally deal with until it actually fails. And when it normally fails, you get complete loss of drive, nothing happens, it feels like you're selecting gear, engine's revving, no drive to the wheels. is that the drive shaft that normally goes over the stub axle wears out because that's softer metal because that's a softer metal it just constantly pounding as you're taking up drive is the drive shaft loses all its teeth on the inside that all wears smooth so it's just spinning freely now what normally happens when these fail is that you get complete loss of drive and you can't understand why everything feels right but nothing's going to the road wheels and then what you do is you get one of the drive shafts that fit, put it on, and you're able to drive off, and you think, yeah, that's fixed it. When I noticed I was doing the CV boots, that shaft looked very clean, very tidy, very new. So, I knew I had to investigate. Let's have a look at this actual backlash. So this looks like a very clean part, very clean for 200,000 miles. There's a little bit of a cap on there, that should be further over that way and if we look you can just see a little bit of corrosion now that's a stub this is the axle Let's see if we can get a bit of a turn on it right. can you see how much that's moving without the actual stub moving there's quite a bit of play in there This is part of the reason why we're taking it off. Oh, wow. Best way to lock the gearbox up is just knock it into second gear. And then we're going to use a 6mm Allen key. Fill that in. Again, not tight. It's only a thin bolt. Hopefully that's out enough. Well, that come, oh yeah that comes by end now and there's the other end you can see how that's worn away there <laughs> compare it with the, the new replacement that hasn't got that ridge get the two together so just try that in there just by hand Now the shaft's not really being supported, so there's a little bit of movement, but yeah. You can feel that backlash. I'll try it on there. Try it on the new one. You, you can't feel it. So I think that middle shaft is actually quite good. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to go with that shaft. So these two make a massive difference between the old and the new that would have lost drive at any point really so I was quite lucky so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to eBay where I got this from again it's a decent brand one that may even be OEM spec there's a few other cheaper ones at like 20 quid 30 quid would you trust it at least I know that's a reasonable brand and you get a new bolt as well. So we're going to put that in. Got a long 6mm and torque wrench. I've set that to 35 newton meters. It's probably 30 to 35. Also, on the end of there, you need something called EP2 grease. 
smears on the outside of here so let's get that popped back in now you're going to need a little bit of a lever bar against this because that's spring loaded What you could see was there's quite a bit of wear on the stub axle that we replaced but the drive shaft was all right because what normally happens is because the, the drive shafts made out of softer metal than the other one and that's the one that goes but it's constantly pounding and knocking every time you're changing direction changing road speed using engine braking all that's making an adverse effect on there so when we checked it against after it being replaced you could see how little the backlash was with the free play in it and that grease just helps lubricate where it would actually pound and just take a little bit of the absorption so it's not plain metal on metal if you found that at all useful just check out the description below give me a thumbs up and if you like other VAG content I'm currently building the TDI Corrado instead of just banging an engine in and hoping for the best I'm going for a full six speed gearbox ABS hopefully air conditioning so if that sounds like something that might interest you just tap the subscribe button as well thanks for watching and for any of you who have been trying to hang around long enough to know why i've got this car sat here i can tell you a friend of mine gave me it because he knows i like old porsches and it's just between this and a 993 and i've already got a 356b full normal coupe I haven't got a cabriolet and there's a little bit of debate because they got another friend of mine who was having the 993 off him again the same size model decided he wanted to polish it <gasps> that's sacrilege because look at this it's got a full patina it's nice old so hopefully in the near future we might have one of them or something similar you never know again thanks very much for watching ta-da